So, Alan, we, we are single agent last line. Guidelines give us permission to give this all over the place, first, second, third. Crystal study, positive now front line with full theory. Um, the obvious next question, is it better than BEV? Um, should we be using EGFR agents, targeted agents in first line? And uh, the most you know, exciting and confusing and controversial study that's come out is FIRE 3. And give us a little background on this study, what we know today and some of the lessons we're learning in anticipation of your study, which we hope to have uh, some looks at this summer. Right, so uh, 10 years ago, uh, we, we were asking this question, which was the both upfront bevacizumab or cetuximab with a backbone of chemotherapy. So uh, we designed a study, 80405, 10 years ago, where we had the choice of full theory or full FOX with either BEV or cetuximab. At that time, we actually had two biologics, the BEV and the cetuximab together, because there was a successor study to bond, bond two, and Bond, by the way, the name, way it got its name is it was the study 007 from the, from the sponsors. Um, in any case, that looked very promising. So we were looking at that 10 years ago, and we're waiting for the results any, any week now. Uh, meanwhile, in uh, Europe, in Germany, they asked a similar question, although in their case, they, uh, they had sponsorship from corp from pharmaceutical companies and, and they were able to ask the question more quickly so fire three was a, was asking that question this was again by now we know it's wild type KRAS only and they asked a full theory question with cetuximab or with bevacizumab up front this is fire three uh, so uh, they started a few years after us and they've already presented their results their the sample size is about half of what 80405 will be but the this is really a provocative study if, if it holds up in terms of what it tells us about sequencing and about whether to use these, how to use these drugs up front. FIRE-3 uh, was presented a year ago at ASCO, the main meeting, and what it showed is at least at that point, the first presentation was a 3.7 month survival benefit for patients who received cetuximab up front compared to those who received bevacizumab up, up front starting with full theory. There was a lot of, lot of information we didn't have and still don't have about FIRE-3, such as subsequent therapies, uh, the recommendation or not of what the second line therapy should be, a number of issues that were unclear, uh, and in fact, I thought uh, raised uh, some doubts about the study. The most fascinating finding in the study, which is extremely hard bio to explain biologically, is that the survival benefit accrued almost two years after the start of the patient's entry on the study. So, so PFS right on top PFS, of each other. The, the, the study was asking the response question, uh, which is really not probably the way you should design a trial. PFS was the same, response was no different. The curves diverge at about 20 months and the benefit accrues in the, down the downstream. So, what did we do in the first six or seven months that affects the tumor biology a year later? Th this is a, a sort of doesn't fit with our paradigm of how cancer works. May be true, but you wonder about second line therapy, you wonder about other confounders. And we're still waiting to gather data. The data looks like, in fact, those things all wash out, although I haven't seen enough of the specifics. The, the fire get, the fire goes more brightly though when we get data just a month later and this shows that when they do the all RAS analysis, uh, and this is in the New England, this is uh, this is uh, this is New England Journal Caliber kind of work. There's a seven-month improvement in overall survival. Again, the curves diverge at the same time, but it's seven months. And PFS still on top PFS, of each other. No, no change. But still so, downstream. So still, you something. get this this remarkable biological effect if if this is in fact related to the frontline therapy. This brings into question the sequencing. As, as we said, the, pat the pattern here is clearly full Fox Bev in the United States. That's what is done. That's what's accepted. Uh, we, you could look for a long time to find the study that established full Fox Bev as a first line treatment because there really isn't such a study. But uh, this really brings into question the entire uh, sequencing qu uh, issue, the biology of the disease. Fascinating times. Yeah. So assuming, let me take one.